good, man. I got you in here, no problem. Hey, uh, the next thing I want to do is, uh, I'm going to try adjusting my USB slope. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> might be my slow. Yeah, I got a few things in the Yeah, I've been doing the same thing, Tom. I've been kind of adjusting the deviation a little bit, trying to get you, uh, trying to get you in there a little bit better. Um, whoops, I accidentally unkeyed, but um, I think the conditions. Oh, jeez. There we go. I think the conditions are having uh, having a little bit to do with everything, but hey, we got it working, man. You know what I mean? So we're passing audio, so uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I'll keep wobble jaw in here for a minute so you can tinker around, maybe get the audio in a little bit better. This is the WHYZ repeater. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff, man. Very cool. I had to switch antennas. I don't have a 75 meter, so... I had to switch some things over, but uh, seems to be working good now. That's for sure. Uh, KDA WCD, KDA WCD. This is N8 JRP, John Detroit. Over. N8 JRP, N8 JRP, KDA WCD. I copied you the whole time, your job. Very cool. Yeah, well, we're making it now. Uh, I'm not sure how <laughs> to turn up the audio in my head. Well, I'm not helping you. I'm not, uh, you know, I'd like to get a little more volume out of the computer, but that's not the program's fault. That's the uh, computer's fault here. So I'm going to give you a bunch of volume comp here so you can maybe uh, play around with some of your adjustments. Although they say, uh, you know, with a 100 watt radio, you probably should run it about 40 watts. I'm running 60, but. I don't know, maybe I'll keep the 570 now. This is like the best radio for this kind of stuff with the Ivo tuner and everything, and it's got a massive heat sink on it, and I've really never seen this radio get hot.